At first, when I started hearing all this between everyone, I started thinking that Tootie, Little Tootie Raw, and King Harris were in the wrong. And I'm not saying they're not. Okay, by all means, I'm not. Because I think that everyone has done a little bit wrong in this whole situation. But, honestly, after doing, you know, some research and some digging and some finding some information out... I, you know, I don't necessarily think Little Tootie Raw and King Harris are necessarily in the wrong. I mean, they try to do for their community as well in their way, you know, in their, in their way as best as they can. And like, you know, I was thinking, oh, they're disrespecting Trust and White. But then I hear how Trust and White be speaking about these, about them. And at the same time, like... You know, yeah, there's a respect line as far as, like, there's a respect line with your elders. But also, we all know sometimes that elders be speaking out the side of their neck, like, like talking complete reckless. And in this situation, I don't, in my own personal opinion, I can't really necessarily think that Tootie Raw or King Harris are wrong. Because at this point... Charleston White won't stop about this whole thing. And he has stated and said that he wants King to be in jail and Little Tootie Raw to be in jail. And at what cost and at what cause will he, will, like, is he going to, is Charleston White going to continue on with this until one of them ends up in jail or they both end up in jail? Or until something happens? Because at first I thought, they shouldn't disrespect them, you know, let, let Boosie and T.I. deal with this as, as grown men with Charleston White, let him handle this with Kanye, this whole drama between themselves, but, you know, little Judy Raw and King Harris, they might be young, but they are still adults, and they are gonna be, they've made quite an impression, obviously, on Charleston White enough that he is going to continue on with this, but the question is, is for how long is he going to continue on with this, you know? He earlier was talking, talking a whole lot of junk about King, and, you know, at some point, you got to wonder, like, does he have something else to do? So, you know, what are you, what's your thoughts on this whole situation? with King and Little Tootie Raw. You know, quite honestly, in my own opinion, initially, I thought, man, they're being pretty disrespectful, this old OG Charleston White. And then I start, you know, getting some more information, finding out some more actual facts, and starting to think that, you know... Although they might sound disrespectful, they're coming from somewhere with something, that's for sure, you know. And initially, when I heard everything, I was like, man, Little Tootie Raw and King shouldn't be getting into this drama for, you know, with T.I., Boosie, and Charleston White. Because we know Boosie stays, stays clear of Charleston White because of how he is, you know. But I've seen a lot of stuff and I've learned a lot of things about King and Tootie. And I honestly think that, you know, they do try to do for their community as well. And and in some sense, like, they're just looking out for their, their pops. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, most people would do for their parents and just like a parent would do for their child. Like, Boosie and T.I. are doing for, for them. You know... Like, initially, I thought they are being really disrespectful. But then I start hearing what Charleston White is actually saying. And I try to put myself back at that point in my life. And I don't think, even for a minute, personally, I'd be able to not say something when someone was saying, you know, if I had was in a situation like that. I don't think I could keep my mouth shut either. So, really, like, at the end of the day, they're just, they're just, you know, 
pawns in this game of life, I guess you could say. And the, the thing is, though, is at what point is enough enough? We know what Charleston White likes to do, and he stays saying that King and Little Tootie are going to end up locked, locked up. Now, how, you know, how much is that of what he's trying to do? Because he continues to stay to poke them. So at what point is he going to be like, enough's enough? Or maybe there's no enough enough point. Maybe it's just push it till it push it till no breaking point. Who knows? Time will tell and we'll see what happens. The truth always comes out. And we're definitely going to see, and we're starting to see a whole different side of this, you know, as it gets dragged on and you got a 52-year-old grown man talking reckless on an 18-year-old's how they look, you know, detailed, detailed look. But that's a whole nother thing for another day. It's just crazy. You know, everything between this all is that, you know, a lot of things are being said. And once you say things and put things out there, they can't be taken back. You know, you start to look for other people to bail you out when you get in too deep, but yet you're the one that dug your own, you know, your own hole, I guess you could say. And it's like, at what point is enough enough? As an adult, do you take the upper hand and just stop? I mean, we know Charleston White, what he said. He wants King Harris and little Tootie Ra to be put away basically that's what he wants and at what point and at what cost is he willing to stop you know at some point does someone just start ignoring the whole situation and moving on with it like from what I hear though Charleston might be out looking for those boys be trying to find trouble and you know that's the problem like you get caught up and you're in the wrong situation the wrong place the wrong time we know what ends up happening it doesn't end well so before it even gets to that point maybe it's just like i, I don't know the kin the talk the trash talk i guess you could say just continues to go back and forth and you know at what point is enough enough like Boosie don't mess with Charleston White because Char because Boosie knows Charleston White's cop calling. That's it. Flat out. Boosie don't mess with them. T.I. called them out. Said, come on. Come, come on. Come on over. Let's just, let's, uh, have this discussion on site. And, you know, time will tell what happens, but they're all looking like a bunch of clowns right now. And it's crazy because... It's like, who's in the wrong, you know? Like, do you defend your kids? Do your kids need to stay out in their own lane? Like, why is this all being dragged and brought together? At the end of the day, we know this whole thing. They're looking like a bunch of clowns at the circus, to be straight honest with you. Charleston's White started this stuff, you know, at, like, that's what he does. He's a professional... Stirrer of the pot. I don't know what you want to say. This is what he does. He starts stuff. And when he's got a problem with it, he calls someone. He calls for backup. It's not himself. You know, the thing is, is he really went in on Little Tootie Raw and King. And I don't know why, you know, there's no surprise that T.I. is clapping back. thing is, is Boosie don't really mess with Charleston White for the most part he stays away from him because Boosie knows that Charleston White calls calls the 5-0 when he's got an issue he knows that when there's a problem he calls you know he makes the call and does what he's got to do and at the end of the day you know I mean like he started something that at this point he's pretty deep in you know, he's got, he's got T.I. calling him out, telling him that he just needs to roll up. If he's got a real issue about this, maybe 
all of them should just talk face to face to be straight honest because at the end of the day going back and forth on the internet like a tough guy you know King and little Tootie Raw are ready are ready and Charleston White's ready to just keep poking and poking until he really you know shows that like he's gonna poke them until they pro he provokes them and you know at the end of the day it's not right you know none of this is right like but they're gonna stand up for Boosie and T.I. and just like Boosie and T.I.'s gonna stand up for their own kids I mean there's been numerous times I'm sure your kids aren't in the right they might be in the wrong but as a as a guardian or a parent they're always gonna be right they're you know you're always gonna do a little extra for them and Charleston White's going in on them so we'll see what happens you know, the thing that I want to understand is why and how people have so much hate. Like, honestly, why is it at this level? Like, why can't, instead of someone, instead of like someone like Charleston White seeing, an, seeing what he thinks is an issue, having Tootie Raw and King being mad disrespectful and, you know, so, so concerned on their future that he's like staying calling calling 5 on them and st staying t to say that he thinks that they need to be in a program like why does there need to be so much hate why can't it be something that you try to work together like why why is it in this day and age that all that we've learned and all that we've seen and especially all that you see in the community why does it need to be a, a, such a negative thing why can't why why couldn't have this turned into a positive thing like, instead it's got to be someone against someone or so-and-so against so-and-so. And then there's sides. And remember, the one thing that people want, one thing that some people want is you to be divided. They want there to be a division so that as long as there's a division, you're focused on the, on really the problem instead of trying to find the solution. You know, I mean, at the end of the day... Charleston White's continuing to poke and prod at these ki at these kids, at these boys, Kang Harris and Little Tootie Raw. And at what point is enough going to be enough? I mean, he's continuing to stay on talking reckless about these boys. Talking to a point where, as a parent, eventually, you know, eventually... At what point do they draw the line? You know, at what point is enough enough? At some point, something's going to happen and no one's going to even realize it. it's about to happen. But the direction that this is going is not good. It can be prevented before it even gets to that level. It should have been prevented before it even got to the level. But here we are and this is where we're at and this is how it is right now. So let me ask you a question. Knowing that Charleston White is 52... And King Harris is 18. And Little Tootie is 19. Do you feel that there's some sort of level of like... I don't know. Maybe life experience and the fact that Charleston White knows exactly what he's doing. And he's only trying to continue to poke and prod at... King and Tootie Raw. Like, I know as an... As you get more life experience let's just say you react differently and your interactions with people change over time and like you know at some at some point you know that there's a level of there's a level of communication when people don't like each other and if you just continue to poke like you know that there's some people that are just can, gonna continue to go and go and go until they snap and, you know, the thing is, is, is T.I. called out, you know, said to Charleston White, like, hey, roll up, let's have a discussion about this. You know what I'm saying? And T.I.'s, T.I. didn't have this soft upbringing. And I'm not saying that King and Little Tootie Raw have this soft upbringing. But I'm also saying they didn't have the same upbringing as their parent, as their father, you know? And so... There's different levels to this. 
you know, and there's different, whole different things going on. And the fact that Charleston White is continuing to poke at King and Little Tootie Raw, like, at some point, at some point, like, do you think he should just, like, grow up and be like, you know what, enough is enough and be the adult in the situation instead of, instead of, like, earlier going on? Charleston White's on live earlier, literally talking reckless about King. About his, about his appearance, he's saying he looks like tiny. I'm not going to get into it all because, to be quite honest with you, I just don't feel like that's even, like, the whole... You're dissing an 18-year-old on his looks. Like, what? What are we? Are you? Are you 18 too? Or are you 52? It's just so completely crazy to me. So latest on the drama with Charleston White and Boosie, Ti King, and Little Tootie Raw is that Charleston White continues to talk about King and Little Tootie, the despite the fact that Ti has said to him. He's got an issue about it. Speak to him on it. Don't be playing these internet games. You know, act like grown man. Pull up, roll up. It's on site. You know, I mean, fact is, is that he's been talking reckless about these boys for days. And it's not even to the fact that, like, at this point, at this point, I think he knows exactly what he's doing and he's just trying to provoke them because he knows that the boys are going to continue, uh, Little Tootie. And King are going to continue to talk as they, you know, as they're responded to. And he is going to stay trying to provoke them because that's what he does. Anybody knows, anyone that knows Charleston White knows that he's about calling the cops. That's what he does. I've learned the last couple of days that anyone that I've ever learned about, I've never realized or never found anyone who calls the cops as much as this man. He tries to provoke people, start things, and stir up the pot. And then when stuff hits the fan, he calls. You know, it's like he said straight up that he wants them to go to some program. And he's going to continue to try to poke the bear until something ends up happening. And he gets what he wants. I mean, the thing is, is that, like... At the end of the day, it is what it is, and he's gonna end up, you know, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with this whole thing, but time will tell, and it's sure gonna be interesting to see which direction this goes, because it's been, it's been stated, Boozy said, T.I. said, stop, keep, you know, this is going too far. It's definitely going too far. My, do I think that he cannot defend himself? Of course he can. It's Boosie. You know what I mean? His son didn't, Tootie didn't really need to step in and stuff. And it's like, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot that was said and a lot that was done. And uh, at the end of the day, there, there's a whole lot of threats that are being made between back and forth between all of them involved. And it's just turning into something really big. I mean, Charleston White is saying basically that T.I. and Boosie need to take control of the situation with their sons and get them, get them like, straightened up. Now, at this point, because the, the boys have made threats to Charleston White, Charleston White's trying to get the PD involved because he wants the them to he wants the boys to get in some sort of program i guess to get like straight or whatever and right now charleston white's trying to call out ti and be like you know you were you did some time for the pieces that you had so you initially this you know trudy and king are standing up for their their dads against the situation with charleston white calling out charleston white you know Taking it to a whole nother level with him, you know, as far as he being an, an older gentleman and he's get the, these, they're getting involved in business of their fathers that, you know, at the end of the day, the fathers, you know, Bussy is no, uh, in no way, shape or form am I, do I think that he cannot defend himself? Of course he can, it's Bussy, you know what I mean? His son didn't, Tootie didn't really need to step in and stuff. And it's like, 
you know, there's a lot, there's a lot that was said and a lot that was done. And uh, at the end of the day, there, there's a whole lot of threats that are being made between back and forth between all of them involved. And it's just turning into something really big. I mean, Charleston White is saying basically that T.I. and Boosie need to take control of the situation with their sons and get them get them like straightened up. Now, at this point, because the the boys have made threats to Charleston White, Charleston White's trying to get the PD involved.